Today we're going to extensively test a strategy from Andrew's trading channel from July 30th, 2021, entitled Killer Strategy Bollinger Bands Plus RSI Results Exposed. In this video, Andrew shows a trading strategy using just two indicators. The title of the video states results exposed. However, I did not notice any backtesting data presented. So today we will backtest this against thousands of stocks in multiple time frames. Remember, this is for educational purposes. Nothing here is investment advice and I am not an investment advisor. To be clear, I am not advising that anybody follow this or any other trading strategy. I'm simply showing some interesting math that I've done with my computer and expressing personal opinion. So for this strategy, we'll need the following indicators. One, the Bollinger Bands set at a 30 period. And number two, the RSI Relative Strength Index set at 13 period. So the entry rules for a long position are, one, the price falls below the lower Bollinger Band, while, number two, the RSI is less than 25, and then three, a green trigger candle forms following a red candle. So regarding the green trigger candle, to be convincing a reversal candle, we will define this as the candle closing above the high of the previous red candle. So not just any candle that's minimally green. For a short position, just the opposite. The price rises above the upper Bollinger Band. Two, the RSI is greater than 75. And three, a red reversal candle is the trigger where the close of the candle should be lower than the low of the green candle before it. The stop loss is not mentioned in the video and the profit target is vaguely mentioned as a recent resistance level. So for consistency, I've chosen to test this with an ATR, average true range based stop and target. And I've chosen a 1.6 times ATR target and a 1.8 times ATR stop. These values were chosen based on my past experience with optimizing ATR targets and stops. I used my back tester to give me some examples uh, to show you. In this example, we see that the price action has dropped below the lower Bollinger Band while the RSI is less than 25. And then we have a green reversal candle where the high of this candle is higher, or the close of this candle is higher than the high of the previous candle. Because we have our conditions met, we will take a position at the opening of the next candle. We will set our stop loss at the ATR stop. And our profit target also at the ATR stop. And this is a winning trade. For these ATR stops, this indicator from TradingView does not have the ability to set a different upper and lower band. So I've set it at 1.7. In the actual trading, I set a 1.6 ATR target and a 1.8 ATR stop. So it's slightly different than this. In this case, it would not have affected the outcome. And here is a short example. Here we see the price action has risen above the upper Bollinger Band while the RSI is greater than 75. We then look for a red reversal candle where the close of that candle is below the low of the prior candle, and that condition happens here. We will then take a short position at the start of the next candle. We will place our profit target there at the ATR stop, and we will place our stop loss also using that band. And this was a losing example. So I hope that makes sense, and as usual for our purposes, I will filter out penny stocks and set a minimum average volume of trading in order to only test stocks with enough liquidity to actually trade. 
So let's test this out. The trading simulator will apply the indicators and the entry rules to each stock's price data. It will then take each entry point and determine if the price action hits the profit target or the stop loss first, and then will determine the loss or gain on that trade. Each trade is calculated as a $5,000 investment, and the simulator keeps track of how long each trade is and calculates the daily and yearly profit or loss if you were able to take each trade consecutively. So let's max out all 16 cores of my CPU and crunch those numbers. Okay, the calculations are complete. Let's review the results. The daily candle time frame tested over the last five years, whole market stocks, found 4,900 trades with an overall gain of 34% per year. Now, a little statistical analysis is in order because I doubt anyone could have executed all 4,900 trades. So let's say it's more reasonable that you might have taken 500 of those trades. What results might we expect if we randomly chose 500 of those 4,900 trades? Well, the result will be a little different each time due to the random selection. So to get an idea of the range of likely results, we'll perform 10,000 runs of sampling 500 trades and show the results on a histogram. The histogram shows that over 99% of the time, a random 500 trade sample of the overall results would have been profitable. The blue and red lines show one and two standard deviations from the mean, respectively. And the balance plot gives an impression of the consistency of results. The hourly candles tested over the entire market and about 20,000 trades shows overall 16% per year profit, but a much less consistent balance curve. And the spread of 1,000 trade outcomes shows 78% of the runs were profitable with unprofitable results contained within just one standard deviation of the mean. The 30 minute candles showed erratic results, overall 12% loss per year with only 35% of the samplings being profitable. The 15 minute data tested for about 40,000 trades showed overall 33% per year profit with a fairly smooth balance curve and 91% of the random 2000 trade aggregates being profitable. The five minute data tested uh, on just the S&P 500 stocks as I don't archive very much five minute data showed overall 52% per year profit, but with a quite erratic balance curve and 85% of the sample aggregates being profitable. So bottom line for this strategy, the statistical analysis has pros and cons. The pros are overall prof profitable historical results on multiple timeframes, including lower timeframes and high number of entry signals. Cons include several time frames have low consistency, such as the hourly candles, or unprofitable outcomes, such as the 30 minute candles. Again, I do not advise for or against any trading strategy. I am simply providing historical data that I have not seen available elsewhere. If you're enjoying this content, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps support the channel. I love to read your comments or requests for back tests of other strategies. Thanks for watching.